Sorry fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now this comes from my girl Candace Owens, all right? So she made a video, this is what is wrong with the black culture. Now I don't know what this video is about, this will be my first time reacting or even watching the video point blank period. So without further ado, enough talking, hit the like button, subscribe to our post notifications. Also subscribe to your boy second channel, okay? Send the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get it, let's go you are dealing, we're dealing with a crisis. This is just all across the board, family, women, men. And we are ignoring this and having politicians that are beating the drum as if we are the same America that put an end to World War II. We're not. So let's dial down the rhetoric, okay? Let's stop pretending that we are. Let's stop looking to get involved in every overseas conflict as if everyone in the world is so fearful of big bad America. They can see this. They have access to TikTok. In fact, TikTok is a Chinese app, right? Their algorithms are feeding men like him, young men like him, to show you this is what everyone should aspire to be. It's the reason why a person like Dylan Mulvaney instantly decides to become a woman and instantly gets a following on TikTok. China's not stupid. They understand how they can take over America without firing a single bullet. The psychology. It's psychology, people aspiring for attention. And so while people are making fun of him, while people are saying that they actually hope he gets drafted, I don't. I think you look at it as an example. I appreciate him providing an example to the world of what is actually happening in America and why we say maybe it's time that we fix some issues at home because he's one of them. And I want to point you to a rapper. It's unbelievable. He is nine years old, allegedly. We think he's somewhere between six and nine years old, depending on which uh, person you're believing. But he has an Instagram account. He also has a YouTube account. I'm going to show you one of his rap songs that is on YouTube. It is called 60 Miles. And I just want you to keep in mind here that as a YouTube policy, if I misgender someone, if someone believes on the inside there's something, and I use rhetoric, to suggest that maybe they're not, I'm considered a danger to the YouTube community. My video will get taken down. But this six to nine year old is allowed to have his video stay up. There's nothing wrong with the video that you're about to see from Lil RT. Take a listen. Bro, the reason why I started dancing because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even, I'm not even surprised. I'm not surprised. The reason why I'm not surprised, if y'all don't know, I am from Chicago. This is the type. Of, first of all, this is the type of music that they promote out here in my city. Not only that, these are the type of kids that be singing a song. You know what I'm saying? Behind, behind the mic, behind all that, this is who you will see. You feel me? So that's why I was like, you know, but in reality, bro, I'm not dancing to the music. The music is trash. First of all, you know what I'm saying? And then not only that. I'm just not I'm just not surprised. I'm truly not surprised. This this is what black culture promotes. This is what they promote. I mean, think about it. Think about all the rappers that you know that are, you know what I'm saying, my color. You feel me? This type of music that they that they rap, you know what I'm saying? And then not only that, the kids and everything, if they if you got somebody like a big a, a big artist that is black most likely his son or his daughter is going to try to imitate what their daddy is like. You feel me? And then they will have their kids like this singing songs. Singing songs like all this cussing in it that's talking about pulling off from 12. That's talking about killing they did. Like all type of nonsense, bro. I'm just not, I'm not surprised that this is the video that she was talking about when she said this is what's wrong with black culture. I'm not surprised. I'm not. It's sad. That I'm not surprised. It is. It's truly sad that I'm not surprised. Let it be. Let it would have been back in like 2013, 20, you know what I'm saying, 2014 ish. It probably would have been like a, whoa, you for real? This is the type of stuff. But now it's like, bro, this is so normalized out here in Chicago. So, in case you missed the lyrics, uh, you would be lucky if you did miss them. I am going to slow it down because I think it's important. You saw a child there. And it's important to hear these lyrics. By the way, if you are around children right now, this is not the time because it's it's derogatory. It's it's worse than derogatory. Um, so I'll give you five seconds. Right? Make sure there's no children in the room. 
The lyrics that came from this song as being performed by little RT, the maybe six, maybe nine-year-old, reads, if she ain't sucking bleep, Lil B-I-T-C-H, you can get the F up out my S-H-T. Hundred round, hit him with the Glock, take an effer down. Hundred round, B-I-T-C-H, we in that kill, we gun take him down. Twelve, get behind me, that's the cops. We gun do 60 effing miles, yeah. So to understand that, he is basically talking about a presumably random woman who can't hang out with him unless she's willing to perform fellatio. This is a nine-year-old, okay? And he is talking about his gun, and he is talking about having 100 rounds as he runs from the police. Totally YouTube content safe. Incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Now, I want to be clear, as this is being debated on the internet right now, this completely saddens me. It is the destruction of black culture. It is the destruction, therefore, of American culture. And this is what we are starting to see. His mother is promoting him on Instagram. If you think that there's a problem with this, if you think that this content should be pulled down, I do, and there's something wrong with you, and you're jealous. People in the comments are calling this person Coco Felon, okay? And to think that this is a mother saying that, oh, he's talented, people in the comments saying, well, he's talented and she's trying to help him pursue that path. No, 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 no. This is a kid, and I hate to say this because we've seen so many instances of this in the media, who will end up- When you have these woke revolutions, it requires all of us at some point to say, no, not going to do this. End up dead, okay? He is holding dollar bills, talking about killing people. If you think that his mother is setting him on the right path, then it's because you're an idiot, okay? You are an idiot who contributes nothing to our society. And yes, some people have realized that. Here are some other comments that have appeared under this video. Y'all shouldn't be promoting this at all. There is nothing funny about it. It says one person, another person says his parents failed him. A third person says it's sad that kids can't be kids anymore. And all of those people are correct. Now, if you're thinking, shouldn't he be in school? You would be right because there's this video on his Instagram page. Take a listen. <laughs> so they're laughing. He obviously has taken a piece of paper. He attempts to read it and says, what the F does this say? I'm only nine, which is to suggest obviously that he can't read, so he needs somebody to come read that. People are giggling and laughing. It's not funny. If you are, in fact, nine years old, not only should you be able to read, you should be able to read chapter books, okay? You should be in the fourth grade. And the fourth grade is when I began reading Harry Potter. If you can't read a piece of paper when you are nine years old, then your mother has failed you, the school system has failed you, yeah. this country has failed you, and you have no chance. And it's not because of you, it's honestly not this kid's fault, which is why I'm not going to sit here and make fun of him. It is, has everything to do with his surroundings and the crisis that I am talking about in this country, whether it is a kid that is actually in college, sitting in a university dorm, you know, talking about how he's not getting drafted because he's on Wellbutrin, or it's this kid who's talking about Glocks that he wants to load up, and women, he's prepubescent, that won't perform sex acts in him uh, on him. We are in a really bad place in this country. That's the point. We are in a really bad place. Shame on YouTube for allowing that content to stay up there. Shame on Instagram for allowing us to go through this. There should be a cry out and a demand that these videos get taken off of the internet. Moving on and still talking about- All right, so uh, I'm gonna get my thoughts on this situation now. First off, like I said, I'm not in shock. Like, I'm not surprised that this is the content that black culture promote. I'm not. I'm, I'm truly not. This has been happening for, for some time now. You feel me? What I am surprised at is the simple fact that I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm surprised, but I'm more disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm being honest, bro, we sit there as black people, we blame everyone else for the reason why things are not going the way that we want it to go and things like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad because 
this is the this is the type of stuff that we put out there. This is the type of stuff that that we promote to other people to view us. And and, and we get mad when people view us the way that we don't want to be viewed. Oh, why you viewing me like that? Why you judging a book bad? Like we get mad at these type of things, but when we go on the internet and we see black people, we don't see a lot of successful black people with suits and ties and they got they, you know what I'm saying? They got they looking like business, but we don't see a lot of that. We see a lot of this nonsense. This is the type of stuff that we like. This is the type of stuff that we enjoy. You feel me? And we need to kind of not even kind of we need to fully get out of that and stop promoting stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. It's okay to want to promote your kids, and, and they get, they talented. They got all these different gifts. God has given us. God has given us all different gifts, and we're all talented. You know what I'm saying? We're all wonderfully made. You know what I'm saying? We all have some type of gift, some type of talent that's within us, but a lot of us use our talents for the wrong reason. This kid is using his talents for the wrong reason. You feel me? He talking about drugs, sex, all these different things that he probably haven't even been through. And it's like, bro, why? Why? That's because y'all allow him to listen to other songs that's talking about the same thing. He feel like, oh, I need to talk about this in order to be, in order so people can look at me and be like, oh, yeah, I want to sign him this and that. And it's bad because that's the truth. If he thinking like that, it is the truth. Because when you look at the music industry, they mostly want, they mostly aim towards people like him that's talking about all these different things. I think it was a rapper that came out. I, came for, I forget if it was Jay-Z or some other rapper, but a rapper came out and said they paid on more when they talk about all this nonsense. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's how they make them big bank. When, if you talk about God, Jesus, you talk about any of that in your songs, yeah, you ain't getting paid. You talk about all these other different things, you ain't getting paid. But when you talk about things that's like drugs and killing and sex and all this hardcore drill type of music, that's when you get all the big bank. And it's sad because his parents is leading him on to think that this is the way that he should be making his money. In reality, he could be singing about a whole bunch of other different stuff. He could sing about wanting to get married at a at a, you know what I'm saying, at an older age, whatever. He could be singing about love. He could be singing about how to take care of a woman. He could be singing about all these different things, being an inspiration to other young kids his age. But no, he's singing about killing drugs, all these different type of stuff. Talking about running from the public. Bro, you can't even get a license yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talking about you doing 60. I don't know if you're referring to 60 miles per hour, but bro, that's not fast. I do 60 miles per hour on a regular street. It's not fast, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's not fast. You feel me? You talking about you with 100 rounds, bro? I don't think you ever held a gun, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think you ever let off a gun, bro. The gun might be bigger than you even to let off, bro. You supposed to be in school, getting an education, getting a... I ain't saying go to college. I ain't saying do none of that. You don't got to go to college to be successful, but at the end of the day, you need some type of... some Something under your belt. Whether it's, a, whether it's just a high school diploma, you just need something under your belt, my young brother. You feel me? And it's, a, and it's another problem with... with, with, with um, with people that's with people that is promoting this type of music right here. The other problem is that when we go, when we get older, because eventually, let's say his dream doesn't work out for him. Not saying that it won't, but let's say his dream doesn't. Hypothetically speaking, his dream doesn't work out. He get about 19 years, 16 years old, wouldn't look for a job. Not even 16. I say he get older in age and he's starting to look for jobs and he want to go into the corporate field and all these different things. When you got videos on the internet, if they're not deleted, you know what I'm saying? They're already going viral. It will always be on the internet. It don't matter. It, bro, it does not matter. Your video, if your video go viral, it will always be somewhere on the internet to find. Look at that Sharkeisha incident that happened back in like 2015 or whatever that was. Uh, Sharkeisha and she slapped her like crazy. That video still somewhere on the internet, probably taken off YouTube, but you can find it on Twitter. You probably can find it on Instagram. Do probably download MySpace and find it, bro. Your video will always be put. So imagine your boss looking at you know what I'm saying, looking at you, you know, because you going into the corporate field. They go look at everything. They looking at all type of backgrounds to see what you even do outside of work. You feel me? So they see this type of stuff, this type of nonsense. Guarantee you probably won't get a job, and I guarantee. Oh, I ain't get the job because I'm black. No, it's because of bro. Look at what you're look at what you're doing. You supposed to be in a corporate field, but this is what you're doing. And maybe not every corporate field is like that, but I know a couple that are like this. You feel me? That look at all the backgrounds. They looking at everything, bro. They want to make sure that their business is being is 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 in good hands even when you leave the building. You feel me? So, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Um, I don't know what's going on with the black culture. I <laughs> all we can do is really pray for them, pray that they receive 
God, truly. You know what I'm saying? Pray that they commit themselves to the Lord because that's all we could really do. You feel me? The, the black culture is doomed. It, it's, it's seriously doomed. And I'm not just saying it is the black culture. You got other cultures that are doomed. America, period, is doomed. We need to pray for America. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to put just black people in the field. No, we need to pray for everybody. The whole America. It's all doomed, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Be your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.